Warning, do not try this at home. The new iPhone update just got released. This update is going to completely change the iPhone forever. However, there are many warnings telling you not to download it because it could possibly slow down or even break your phone. You acknowledge that by installing such pre-release software on your Apple branded computers and or devices, these computers and devices may not be capable of being restored to their original condition and that applications and services may be affected by your use of pre-release software. So today I downloaded the new unreleased iOS 16 beta to show you guys. So without further ado, we're going to risk my iPhone and download this new update. You have to be an Apple developer to download this update. I paid for it so you guys can see the new update. I'm so scared to do this because last time it literally broke my iPhone. Um, I've had the update for about like three days now it's not working now we're gonna wait for my iPhone to update and I'm gonna show you guys the brand new update okay guys after about an hour of updating I finally got the new update so literally the screen has a different text and it looks crazy so as you can see here there are a ton of new options for your phone so you can do things like astronomy weather emoji and color and we're gonna try all of them today that's kind of embarrassing that like my selfies are right there. <laughs> so let's test out some of these features What you can do is you can now add your photos and it will all <laughs> Joe. <laughs> it's all joke and he leave. The new iPhone update will automatically go through your own photos and pick the best options for screensavers. So this is a picture I took on Hello. This is a picture I took on vacation and it actually made it into a wallpaper. You can actually add like filters to it if you want. I mean, most of those look kind of ugly, so let's not do that. But let's go ahead and keep it like that. Set as wallpaper pair. You can now even change the font of your time. So if you don't like the normal font, you can switch it to literally whatever you want. So I think we're gonna change it to this one. Even though that looks kind of ugly, I mean, you could do it pink if you want it. You can literally do any color. What the heck? You could do a rainbow. I think we're gonna go ahead and go with, oh shoot, I can't even see. <laughs> I think we're gonna go with the original color that it picked for us and you can also change the date now This is possibly the coolest part about the update. You can add widget on your home screen I know it's literally crazy So if you're like me and you like to work out you can add your fitness widget on there You can put the date calendar you can put what else can you put? Okay, there's really not that many options yet. It's a new update. All right, let's do the weather They really need to have more options for this But it is so cool to see your iPhone like that literally it has like little widgets on there it's a whole new phone and on top of that as you can see the notifications are now at the bottom of the screen which is kind of crazy another really cool feature I like is how you can have multiple home screens so you can actually change your wallpaper to a specific person so I put people on here and now it'll have a picture it's all me this is Making me look very conceited, okay? Not just me. <laughs> so if you want to change your wallpaper to something like a pet, it will automatically pick the best pictures of your pet for the wallpaper. Look how cute that is! Oh my god. That looks like she died. <laughs> okay. And just like that, we have a brand new wallpaper. So for instance, here is a picture of my boyfriend. And what's really cool is that it will automatically put the time behind your picture. So as you can see, he's the highlight of the picture. And then on the back, you have the time, which is so cool. I think that is so neat. And even better, since I have multiple home screens, whenever I'm mad at him, I can just switch it to something else. I don't want to see him anymore. So I think this wallpaper is so cool it's called an emoji wallpaper And so pretty much you can pick all of your favorite emojis and it's automatically gonna make a wallpaper for you My favorite emojis are let's do some sparkle. Let's do some flowers and boom It literally makes a custom wallpaper for you. How cool is that? And we can change the time if we're feeling like it We'll change it to that and make it pink cuz why the heck not and just like that you have a literal customized wallpaper I'm also going to add we'll do calendar I don't I'll show you your event. Of course, you, it's a little bit hard to see. Now we have our own custom wallpaper and all these other options to play with. I feel like so cool that not everyone has this and I do. They also have a cool moon wallpaper. They're gonna ask to use your location. So you can actually like move the moon to where you want it to show and you could even show the globe where you are at on the globe. Like look how cool that looks. What? So you wanna see the earth or do you wanna see the moon? The earth? The moon. The earth? And then boom, just like that, set as new wallpaper. And now I can always remember where I'm at. When I open my phone, now it is, watch how this looks, watch how this looks. 
Wow. The world like changes. It's like a really cool transition from your wallpaper. Probably my favorite feature that I'm going to be using is the photo shuffle because I love the idea of opening my phone to a new photo every time. So let's do photo shuffle. So every time I open my phone, I'll have a new wallpaper. Try it out. I'm excited. It's just me. It's so embarrassing. Look at my new wallpaper. <laughs> so now every time I turn on my phone, it's gonna be a different wallpaper. Literally, how cool is that? Wow, that is so neat. I feel like it's like kind of, I feel like it's so cool because every time you open your phone, it's a new photo and new memories, just always on display. I think that is so fun. Another really cool feature is that now, whenever you're playing music, it's gonna show at the bottom of the screen your music instead of the top. If you were used to it, it's usually at the top right there. But since the new update, it's at the bottom, which I think is way better because it's way easier to click when you want to go to a new song instead of having it all the way up here. There are so many different options for wallpapers now that it's just so fun. I love that Apple's finally coming up with more creative ways to customize your iPhone. Like literally look at this wallpaper now. It doesn't even look like an iPhone anymore. It looks like a whole different phone. Let me know in the comments down below. Once you get this update, what wallpaper are you going to use? So the next crazy feature that is absolutely insane about the new update is how you can select as you can see, it automatically selects whatever's in your photo. So I can go ahead and copy it. So if I want to send that image to my sister, it will literally send as... Like, that's so crazy. Okay, let's try another photo. I want to see how well it works. Can we do Rosie? <laughs> it worked. Check this out. <laughs> and that's what she gets sent. How funny is that? Can we do this? I think I'm having too much fun sending all of these pictures. <laughs> it's just such a cool feature to have. The iPhone now knows what's inside of your picture, which is kind of scary to be honest with you. But if you click this button, it says look up plant. So it takes what's in the photo and it will literally look up what kind of plant it is. How accurate it is? Debatable. It's saying it's an aloe vera plant or a Swiss cheese plant, <laughs> which is not right. But it also looked up similar web pages, which is right. They're roses and now they're pulled up pictures of roses, which is crazy, kind of scary. How do they know what's in my photo? I don't know. Let's see if it'll look at this picture of cookies. Isn't that cool how it like traces it? All right, let's see if it, as you can see, this feature is still in its beginning works. So not everything is gonna work, but it's still pretty cool. The next crazy feature is you can now edit a message you've already sent. So if you accidentally typed, hey sis, I forgot to pick up the pickle at the house. When you meant to say, box at the house, right? Simple typo. You can now change it, which is kind of scary because now <laughs> you can go back and be like, I never said that. <laughs> you can edit it and change what you said. Kind of scary. You can also even undo the send you already sent and boom, it's gone. You never sent that. So now when I'm in a fight with someone, I'm gonna be like, go look at what you sent me. And then they're just gonna make it disappear. And that's kind of scary. However, be careful because this only works with people with the update. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna mute it. Hold on. You choose. So let's say for instance, you're on FaceTime with your sister. Now, if you're on FaceTime with someone and you wanna be listening to music at the same time as them, you can put share play. It's a little buggy. So if you, so, <laughs> try that again. <laughs> so if you're on FaceTime with someone, you could listen to the same song at them at the same time. So you guys can both be jamming out together on FaceTime. You could even watch movies together too, but I mean, I don't really, I don't like to FaceTime that much. So as you can see, when you're on FaceTime, there's a lot of apps that you can share play. So if you want to watch any of these together, you can watch Hulu together, you can watch TikTok together, what? And I think that is a really cool update to have. Okay, bye, Becca. A really, really cool feature that has been added is Wind Maps. If you're routing to go somewhere, you can now add a stop. So let's say on my way to Starbucks, I wanna stop at Target. Now I can add that as a stop and it will route me to both places. That's cool, right? So now I can route to Target and Starbucks without even hesitating. And now when you're using map, the screen is supposed to be 3D. So the buildings that you're passing by are gonna be 3D on the map. Okay guys, it has officially been a couple days with the new iOS update and let's just say it's not working as expected. I just wanted to warn you guys that don't rush to get the update because it's not ready yet. Ever since I got the update, my phone has been dying non-stop because the battery gets drained like crazy. My iPhone has also been shutting off randomly and has been very, very buggy. So uh, of course now I'm thinking about taking the beta off of my phone. But just remember if you do decide to get the beta that you are at risk 
for your phone having some bugs. Also, even though my Apple Watch isn't updated, my Apple Watch has been dying like crazy as well. Just because of the new update, which I mean, I signed up for, for you guys, but I just want to warn you guys, just be very careful if you do decide to download the beta and make sure to back up your phone because anything could really go wrong. It could mess up your phone. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Sunshine in 24.